Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, past playlists for uh, Leo. Tons of stuff down there, please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel really means a lot to me. And thank you for supporting the channel and being a part of supporting it in any way, shape or form is truly appreciated to help it grow and flourish. Get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. Okay, so this is for Leo. Leo, hope everybody's doing well going into the fall, getting ready for Halloween. Happy early Halloween. All right, so Love Connection reading for Leo, first half of October. And I may be adding a couple new readings to the channel. So instead of doing the love in general twice a month, I may do them once a month and add a uh, spirit messages oracle reading and also a Leo singles who's coming towards you type of reading that will tell you who, when, where, how type of energy. So if you are interested in those, please... Um, I don't know, leave me some comments somewhere and let me know. I may do them this month or next month, I'm not sure, as I've already started all the uh, readings for this month and have already made all the thumbnails that say, you know, the first part of October, I've already said first part of October, and all my other readings, so I don't think that'll really matter, but I may start it this month or next month, I'm not sure. But if you are interested in that, please do let me know. Okay, something different. All right, so for Leo, first half of October, what kind of energy could be around Leo, love connection, first half of October, and if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. This is a little extra bonus, so we get a sign, element, planet, and we have air. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, not Leo, yeah, you are Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in some way, shape, or form in their chart somewhere, even if it's not their sun sign. But air is also the energy of truth, communication, intellect, the mind, ideas, um, truth and clarity type of energy. So we'll see how that, uh, everything to do with the mind, the thought process, truth, clarity, uh, speaking with truth and clarity, thoughts and ideas, education, everything with the air energy. All right, so let's see. All right, so for Leo, we'll get an overall love energy, love connection energy for you and your person. This can be any type of connection with anyone you have in mind. It has to be some form of a connection. It can't be someone that you like and they don't even know you exist. You at least have to have um, some sort of you know, maybe you know each other, but they don't know you like them or something like that. Or you could be dating, married, single, living together, committed, you know, separated. Maybe, you know, you were once in a relationship and now you're separated. You're wondering about an ex. I mean, it could be any kind of situation. We'll see what we get here. Hopefully it resonates for you. You clicked on the title, then something... Um, they are resonating for you in the title, so take what resonates, throw away what doesn't, including the signs mentioned. Flip flop the energies any way you see fit. All right, so Leo, what is the love connection energy like for Leo between their person, whoever they have in mind at this time? Spirit, please, one card. Thank you so much. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So I feel like there's a lot of positive energy or you're getting positive vibes from this person or you're trying to give them positive vibes, but a lot of positive energy around you and whoever you're connecting with. Hmm. So, all right, so let's get one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about each other, feeling about the connection. So one for Leo, one for their person. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One for Leo and this love connection. And one for their person. So we have two. Perfect. All right. So that way. All right. So Leo, you have self-employment. Hmm. 
you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So, <laughs> so that doesn't really say much about the um, relationship, but whatever you're doing on your own here, you're trying to be self-employed. Hmm. Magical opportunities. So maybe there's someone around you that is helping you in your journey, helping you on the um, entrepreneur beginnings here that you're starting to have feelings for maybe. Someone that's a mentor, a leader, that's uh, guiding you, giving you guidance or something like that. It could be legal guidance, it could be anything here. Someone that maybe is helping you in your journey and you're starting to kind of, you know, maybe get feelings for them. Let's see what your person has, mother healing. As your feelings towards what your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Hmm. So, I don't know, your your person here has some sort of mother healing issues. Mother problems, maybe, that you're unaware of. Hmm. I don't know. So, we'll see when we get into the tarot. So, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So, we have ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So, you're definitely doing that with the uh, self-employment here. And I feel like you're wanting uh, to uh, manifest a beginning here with this person. And then underneath that, you have empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So, oh, and under that, we have soulmate relationship. Now, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So this could be a soulmate. That you're connecting with and it's time to make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision so wow so a lot of cards here ready sit go like you're ready set and you're going you're feeling empowered in this new beginning and i just did your general and it had that same energy of you like starting a new beginning going out on your own and maybe starting a new business or being in that entrepreneurship energy and now it's coming out in your love reading so but whatever you're doing on your journey here may bring in a soulmate relationship for you. Wow. All right. So huh. maybe it's somebody your mother will introduce you to. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So let's see. So whoever you're connecting with, whether you know it or not, could have mother related issues maybe they don't have a good relationship with their mother maybe their mother just passed away maybe they've been you know disconnected from their mother for a very long time maybe their mother even abandoned them I don't know maybe you even know that I don't know all right so let's see what's going on Leo one for your person one for you and then clarify also so one for Leo, one for their person, for a couple of clarifiers, for this love connection energy. I'll take these two. So for you, we have the chariot. And you have this in your general reading, like move it, moving forward full steam ahead. Now you have it in your love reading. I think that your energy in your uh, entrepreneur energy is just taking your over your whole life. And maybe you don't even have time for a relationship or a connection here. Wow. So, yeah, the chariot cancer energy here. So, I think you're either wanting to move things forward with a person here, you know, or you're just moving full steam ahead, like I said, with your uh, personal life in some way. So, your person has the six of wands. So, this is success, victory, fire energy. That's your energy. So, they definitely have your energy under them, and they want success and victory with you. And uh, you're also wanting to move full steam ahead, also not only in your career, but with this relationship. Wow, okay, so let's get a couple clarifiers. King of Pentacles, and then one for your person, the Seven of Cups. So, clarifying for you is the King of Pentacles, so they could be an earth sign, they're not an air sign, but somebody... and. The King of Pentacles is someone who's good in finances, who's smart, analytical, um, can be, you know, a business owner or can be, it's like a minor of the emperor who can be, you know, a boss, CEO, business owner, smart, business savvy, 
kind of energy. They're abundant, prosperous. They can make their money. So again, this could be, you know, maybe it's a financial advisor. Maybe uh, it's somebody helping you along your journey financially or they're an earth sign. And now they're starting to be uh, feelings developed between the two of you. But they have the Seven of Cups energy also. I mean, they want victory with you, but I think they're a little confused maybe by your energy because maybe they see you're so self-driven moving forward that they're wondering, is this person going to have time for me, for this connection? You know, can we have something here? You know, the Seven of Cups is kind of daydreamy. They could be daydreaming about you. Like, you see this person here just looking down at the uh, paperwork here. And the other person reaching for the stars. It's like, you know, they're working with you, collaborating with you, and you're just reaching for the stars. And then they have all the cups down here, also for love and emotions, that are kind of just placed by the wayside. Because there's a lot of focus right now on career-orientated um, activities. So... So I think they're very confused and conflicted about how this is going to work, move forward. Uh, will you have time for them, for the connection? But well, they definitely want to move forward with you. You're moving forward in your life, but um, maybe you do want to move forward with them also, but maybe you're not uh, telling them that. So let's get your actual situation. Now we have the Seven of Wands. Let's get a couple more. Wow. So... Holy crap, we've got two aces together here. So we have the Sun of Wands, fire, that's your energy. So this is being on guard, defensive, fighting for what you want. So I th think this is just your energy of just, you know, being kind of defensive and standing up for yourself and just going forward with that fiery, passionate energy for what you want and just fighting for it, like not giving up. You're just going and going and going with that chariot energy and you're not letting anything get in your way here. And then on their side, they have the Ace of Swords. So they need truth, clarity. This is, you know, Six of Wands, Success, Victory. Here's a Sword of Victory also. So this is clear-cut communication, uh, truth, clarity, cutting away things not serving, standing up, not backing down. So they need truth and clarity. You know, they want an honest new beginning with you, but they need truth and clarity here. But connecting the two of you is the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe you're even building this together, this like business or creative idea or whatever here. This is a brand new beginning, abundant success, uh, stability, something new here that will bring in much uh, prosperity and stability for the future. So you've got two Aces of new beginnings here that are divinely guided for you. For your stability, your career, your finance, and truth, clarity, big aha moment. So there definitely needs to be communication here. There definitely is, you know, growth and abundance, stability in this new beginning. And you're just fighting for it. You know, maybe they also want you to fight for them. You know, Seven of Wands energy is like fighting for something and not backing down. So as much as you fight for what you're doing, they want the same energy from you towards them. All right, so let's get a couple more clarifiers for the situation. The world, wow. And the Six of Cups, wow. So <laughs> we had Soulmate on the bottom of the deck here and now, of the Oracle, and now we have the Six of Cups, which is Soulmate energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, doesn't have to be, but you know, someone from your past or memories, nostalgia here, or soulmate energy, someone you've had past lives with perhaps. <sighs> so yeah, this is definitely soulmate energy here. You could have just known them for a very long time, maybe you went to school with them. But the world here, definitely closing chapters, starting new chapters, earth energy, whole new cycle, starting a new cycle. Again, I feel like your general's coming over into your love, you're just Ending a cycle, starting a new cycle, very career-oriented, focus moving forward. And I feel like you have somebody around you, guiding you, helping you in this. And they're starting to be uh, feelings felt between you. But I think there's just a lot of confusion on their part as to what's going on, what's going to become of this. Is it just work? Is it going to bloom into something else? 
and I think you feel the same way, but you're not really telling them because you're just so focused on your self and your career moving forward. All right, so let's get some advice for you, Leo. You have the sun, that's your energy. And we have the nine of cups. So <laughs> we have nine of cups, water, wishes, dreams coming true, happiness and joy. The sun, again, success, victory, happiness and joy, growth, expansion, enlightenment, prosperity, happy home and family. It's everything, everything all the way around happiness success with the sun everything is positive so there's going to be a positive outcome for you no matter what no matter what because you do have wish fulfillment happiness and joy so your advice is to keep going after what you want doing what you're doing um but i think you need to tell this person uh how you feel what you want moving forward Go after your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, your desires, because you will have victory, success, happiness, joy. Here, soulmate energy again with the sun energy, healing, enlightenment. Now we have the two of cups, so now we have soulmate union and the ten of pentacles. Wow. So ten of pentacles here on their side, earth energy, wanting long-term commitment here, wanting the whole ten yards, wanting the happy home and family legacy Stability, growth, expansion, sharing of everything, coming together in the long-term relationship here in some way, a Ten of Pentacles, and then your side, the Two of Cups, soulmate union, coming together as one. So, your, you know, your advice is, wow, the Ten, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, Ten of Pentacles, lifelong partner here, stability, growth, soulmate union, happiness, joy, sun, Wow. You need to tell them exactly what you want because I don't think that they are fully clear of your intentions and how you feel. All right. So I don't know what that mother healing is, though. Um, maybe you've had mother issues and they see that and they know that. I, I don't know. Something with mother healing here. I don't know what that is. Um, only you would know what that is. So let's get your outcome here for you, Leo. The Five of Pentacles. So that's earth, loneliness, abandonment, left out in the cold, neglect, neglected energy is your outcome. Hmm. Oh, I, I just feel like you need to tell them how you feel, not just go after your heart's desire, what you want in, uh, in your career, in your success, but also them. Because I feel like they may just... They may just, you know, abandon the whole situation, you know, just, just abandon it in some way, shape or form because your outcome here is now the king of swords. So we had, we had the ace of swords. I thought we had the queen, but now we have the king. So here is the air sign here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, true clarity, uh, open, honest communication, standing up, not backing down. Cutting away, not serving. So, yeah, they need truth, clarity, because they're feeling lonely, like neglected, left out in the cold. Because not only you have the Ten of Pentacles, but you have the Ten of Cups. Happiness, joy, uh, fulfillment in every single way. Emotional love fulfillment with this person. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Really? Ace of Swords. Ace. Yeah, Ace of Swords. The Sun. But we had another ace here. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun. The Ace of Pentacles is sort of like the minor of the Sun. So it's like you got the Sun twice. And then you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So not only stability for the long term, but love and emotional fulfillment in every single way long term also. Wow, and that's under them. So they definitely want everything with you long term. And you want the soulmate union, but you need to speak up here. And that just could be the air energy coming under your energy of needing to speak up with truth and clarity to this person to let them know how you truly feel. Okay, so, and you need to make that decision and go for it. Ready, set, go. Go for it. You can do it. Empowerment there. 
All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Five of Wands. So this is conflict, competition. Uh, it could be inner conflict. It could be, you know, maybe you just feel very conflicted. You're moving forward quickly in your personal life and also have this connection with this person and it's just causing you a lot of inner conflict or maybe there's a lot of com competition around you also. Whatever you are going for here in your personal life, it's like you can't stop. I got to keep going. There's so much competition that I just need to keep competing. But here's justice, Libra energy. So balancing out the scales, uh, truth, clarity, bringing justice to the situation. You will receive your justice, getting justice, receiving justice. Justice needs to be had in this connection. Balancing of the scales, truth and clarity. And even though you're manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself here, you can also manifest this brand new connection with all the tools and resources, love, compassion, honesty, truth, stability, security, and passion and um, determination. Four of Pentacles. So yeah, you're definitely holding back from this person. You're not telling them how you truly feel. Just focused on your stability, yourself moving forward. And now you have the Ace of Wands. So you have another Ace. It's three Aces. Fiery, passionate, new beginning. And this is, you know, creative new idea, a new endeavor, um, entrepreneurship energy. And it can be a fiery, also passionate connection with a lover. Six of Pentacles now. So equality, balance. That's like the minor of the justice card. So there definitely needs to be balance in the situation, balance within you, balancing them in your uh, career, in your uh, endeavors moving forward. So I feel like, yep, needing balance in all ways, passionate new beginnings, but you're holding back, but you can manifest, bring justice into the situation and uh, you need to get over all this inner conflict and conflict competition mindset that you have around your uh, new beginning here. All right, so let's get some messages, extra messages for you, Leo, for October, love connection, love connection, love connection. All right, what other messages do we have for Leo in this love connection for October? What other messages do we have for Leo in this love connection for October, Spirit? Please, thank you so much. What do we have here? Compassion. Two, two, two people coming together in unity, having compassion towards one another. Yep, so there definitely needs to be compassion between the two of you to consider each other's feelings. All right. Triggers. So I don't know if there's something that triggers you, triggers them. It just could be triggers as you're moving forward because you do have all that competitive, competitive energy on the bottom of the deck. So whatever you're doing here and you see a lot of competition around you and maybe that triggers you. And that's why you're so focused just on your career right now. But then you have nine, which is almost at the end of a completion. You know, it's wishes and dreams, again, coming true for some. Don't let outside things trigger you to neglect this uh, connection. All right. So anything else for Leo? Anything else for Leo? Oh, that's way too many. Let's take this one. Mental repetition. Hmm. Number 28, which is 10, which is endings, one, and then one new beginning. So whatever, I think whatever mental repetition, whatever you're thinking about over and over and over that's causing all this mental conflict about all the comp competition around you that's triggering you. It's just causing triggers within you. You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. You need to end that eight and two ending. You just need to end all those mental triggers that you just keep going on, have, you know, going on over and over and over in your mind. Just, you know, let it go. You know, ready, set, go. Let it go. Just let it go. 
All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Reliable, so in 38, which is 11, which is two, two people coming together, unity. So, you know, both reliable, they're reliable, you're reliable, you can rely on one another. You can trust one another. They're always there for you. You're there for them, or you need to be. So, okay, Leo, I see, you know, uh, I do see a soulmate. Uh, potential here but it's up to you if you know you need to concentrate more on them and tell them exactly how you feel what you want and try to balance out your energy between you know this moving forward in your self-employment whatever it is for you or new employment whatever here and this connection this didn't resonate for you Leo you could check the description box below for past playlists and I would say watch it anyway. If something catches your eye, disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. And if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general in love. So that's four readings a month. But like I said, I may be cha changing that to two um, general and one, one general, one love connection, adding two more uh, different styles of readings, a spirit messages oracle reading, and a singles who's coming towards me type of reading. So please let me know if you're interested in that. If you subscribe, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings so you don't miss out. Good luck to you here in whatever you are doing moving forward in your connection. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.